Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? You know, there's so much evidence now about how the body truly does keep the score, how we keep yeah. those those things innately in us, how they lead to these long-term detrimental health ramifications, early onset heart attacks, dementia, diabetes, yeah. asthma, lung disease, PTSD is a part of the things that push you kind of into that. Yeah. And, and so yeah. what I'm, what I'm one of the things that I have discovered is that, you know, the body has this innate ability to course correct and to heal. And I think I won't, I won't run with that, but I'll let you instead be the one to, to step into that. How do we do that? How do we give our body what it needs to actually be able to heal? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I think it starts by understanding how this, um, how this unfolds to begin with, you know, when we experience a stressor like that in early childhood, that could be an emotional, um, stressor, you know, emotional wound, it could be a physical wound. Um, if we experience any type of trauma or stressor that is intense like that during childhood, generally our body has an innate process that goes through activating our adrenals, that releases our stress hormones, and it's meant to get our body ready for that fight or flight response. Um, which is a natural response in our body. We need that. But what happens when we're a child and we've experienced that trauma in childhood and we don't have the opportunity to fight it, which helps us um, kind of work through and process that energy, or we don't have the ability to flee or run away from the situation, those impulses cannot just switch off. So what happens is that trauma gets frozen in our body and in our psyche. And then that stress changes our biology so that we essentially, it takes less for us to get stressed. So our threshold to stimulate a stress response changes. We just get stressed more easily now that this um, biology shift has occurred. So what happens is as we grow up, we're still operating in this kind of chronic low-grade stress response. And we might have things in our adult life or our teenage lives that kind of activate that even more. And all of a sudden that threshold gets um, higher and higher. Now we are just chronically stressed all the time. We might be, you know, um, trying to recover from that through um, workaholism or alcoholism or perfectionism. We might be trying to cope with that in unhealthy ways. And it might show up then over time as these chronic health issues. So I think understanding first and foremost that it's the underlying um, area there is that we've been operating in this stress state. Our body's kind of been pushed to a point where it's just chronically running in stress over here. So to overcome that, to start to heal from that, um, it starts as a multi-layer process, in my opinion. First and foremost, it starts with understanding kind of where you're operating in your nervous system. Um, we have the sympathetic nervous system, which is that fight or flight response. We have the parasympathetic nervous system, which is our rest and our digest state. But from stress and from trauma, we can get stuck in either one of those. And we can either operate in a pattern of low um, energy, chronic fatigue, um, no no um, motivation to want to do anything. That might be where you're kind of stuck in that parasympathetic state. Or you could be stuck in the sympathetic where you're like, go, 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 go. I'm, you know, constantly doing this. I've got a gazillion things going on. I just can't stop. I'm drinking the energy drinks. I'm smoking. I'm doing all the things. I'm just like on hyperdrive. Neither of those is a good state to be in. We want some balance between the two. So one, first understanding where are you operating from? What state are you in can start to give you awareness around what does your healing path start to look like. <clears throat> Two, um, from a nutritional standpoint perspective, from a functional nutrition standpoint, when we operate in that chronic stress, oftentimes that starts to affect our digestive system in many different ways. One of those being in the stomach. So a lot of the people I work with experience low stomach acid, um, because of the chronic stress state that they've been in. So we have a level of stomach acid that helps to digest our food. But when we are chronically stressed, it depletes that stomach acid. So when we eat, all of a sudden we start to have acid reflux or we start to get bloated and we 
um, start to feel discomfort um, because we are so stressed. So oftentimes I will recommend, especially someone who's have had severe chronic um, or severe childhood trauma, is to incorporate some type of um, hydrochloric acid, which is a supplement you can get that has, can help to replace the stomach acid in your stomach and start to help you digest your food properly. When we are not digesting our food, we're not getting those nutrients that can help us create the trans neurotransmitters, things like serotonin that can help us pull out of some of the um, emotional states that we experience when we're healing from chronic childhood trauma. Um, other things I would add in there from a nutritional standpoint is slowing down. So I don't know how many of you or if you've ever experienced this. I know I used to do this all the time. But when we eat uh, stressed, when we are eating on the go, we are in a stressed state. And our when our system is stressed, our digestive system is turned off. And that's really a biology that has followed us from, you know, the beginning of time when we were hunting for food and we needed to run and chase that bear or we were being chased by a bear when we are when we are in a stressed state. Our energy resources all go away from our digestion because we wouldn't be eating. And it goes to places in our body that helps us run or fight our heart, our lungs, our limbs, our blood pressure, our, um, you know, blood flow changes. <clears throat> So when we're eating in a stressed state, we're actually eating at, in a place that's counterintuitive for our body to digest that food. So especially for people who've had childhood trauma, we might find ourselves eating really quickly or, you know, feeling anxious just automatically. So I, anytime you're eating, I always recommend slowing down taking a few deep breaths, getting into the present moment, kind of looking around at your plate of food, looking around at the perhaps the people that are with you or the room that you're in, and really slow down that process while you're eating. That starts to help your body get into a state of, oh, okay, it's time to digest food. We don't need to be stressed in this moment. Um, oftentimes, people who have experienced childhood trauma also experience chronic digestive issues, things like leaky gut or SIBO or um, bacterial infections, all of which I have had and experienced. And I would say Same. you would know this by if you are having uh, food allergies or sensitivities or you're noticing you just can't eat the same way anymore because you get a reaction to it or you're constantly bloated, nothing feels good, or you don't have an appetite in the morning or you don't have an appetite at certain uh, parts of the day. Maybe your, your bowel movements are, um, you know, either really runny or hard to come. And so I would say if you're in a state like that, really seeking professional help to get you the right protocol that can balance your entire system. I could talk through it, but I think everybody's a little unique and different, and um, there isn't one protocol that fits everyone's needs. And so I would say seeking out support from a functional nutritionist or a health practitioner that can help give you some of the, the complete um, support in that area will be really helpful for healing um, from your past. And that's because when we've got all that inflammation in our body, we don't have the energetic space or the physical space in our body to hold the energy of those emotions that we would experience as we heal. And so if we want to do that deeper healing, if we want to finally get to a place of um, peace and calm and um, joy, we have to also support the body. And sometimes that's done by just simple things like adding in that hydrochloric acid, slowing down, maybe even making sure you're eating the rainbow, a wide range of um, vegetables and fruits. But sometimes also it requires a deeper level of support that can help you heal some of those more chronic things.